A cancer diagnosis can take a family places they never imagined. You question your health, you pray for your doctors, and you count your blessings. Only our Danica Lewis has the story of the journey of a local mother and daughter. It's where families are forced to go when there are few options left. Some days it's really hard. Rooms filled with sterile equipment and often void of hope. It's the last place most people would want to be. It's been a long journey. But it's the only place Kelly Muller can imagine being now. So it's a blessing. It's a weird kind of blessing. And it's not what I expected for my life. The journey began when Kelly and her daughter, Megan, had just moved to Madison. I got blood clots on both lungs, and they were pretty bad. So I didn't think that I was going to make it through. It was really close. The doctor said 20 minutes longer. And... It was stage four cancer, taking chemo, radiation, even reconstructive surgery. The beginning of March, it'll be three years. And an 11-year-old girl. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't have fought as hard, because we just have we have family, you know, we just have each other. Without a reason, there would be no reason to fight it. The road had taken them a lot of places. We've had a lot of adventures too, huh? Yeah. But they never thought the next turn would bring them back to something so familiar. She was running around and swimming the day before and had just graduated from fifth grade and Doctors thought throwing up every day was the result of anxiety after mom's cancer. It was terrifying. Then Megan collapsed and the diagnosis changed dramatically. Childhood cancer is a different monster. Surgeons spent the next 19 hours removing a tumor from Megan's brain. You were my reason to fight. And now these two will spend the foreseeable future in and out of American Family Children's Hospital. Don't take anything for granted because you don't know what might happen at all. Being a parent of a child with cancer is a million times harder than being a person with cancer because there is nothing you can do except for the little things you can. At first, Megan could barely move or talk. Try to imagine not having a voice or a way to communicate. Sometimes when I look back in the, in the past, like when I could walk and run. And yet crowded by reminders, they can't escape this place anytime soon. <laughs> An 11 year old and her mom <laughs> find room for laughs, <laughs> a lot of laughs. Teenage bonding is supposed to be over fingernails and stuff, but we bond over trach, G-tube, and hair. <laughs> they find faith. Every day is pretty much a blessing. To fight. It's a blessing every day, isn't it? Yeah. They choose to embrace it rather than escape it. I was fortunate to go through this first. I got to go through cancer first. And Kelly knows every day she's beside her best friend. This is her work because she doesn't give up. You ready? They didn't think this would happen for six months. What I've gone through already, I can relate to what she's going through. That's it. And I can walk out in the hallway and relate to the parents that are going through the fear and the helplessness. It's the last place most people would want to be. But for these two, together is the only place that matters. You're my hero. Forever. Danica Lewis. This is the strongest girl you'll ever meet. WISC News 3. Megan and Kelly will get to spend Christmas at home just across the street from American Family Children's Hospital before going back in for her next round of chemo. If you want to help these two in their fight, we have a link to a GoFundMe page up at channel3000.com.